Hello, World J2012 here, and today we are doing something really obscure that it's bad. We're going to do a Phoenix Games Showcase. Now, if you do not know who Phoenix Games are, they are basically a budget video game publisher, and sometimes developer, of quite some games. They have released games for the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PC, Nintendo DS, and Wii. And apparently in their site, which is not open anymore, you can view it through way back, they take three to five months just to make each game. No wonder why they usually suck. Phoenix is also well known for their dubs of Fe Dingo Pictures films, which suck as they rip off Disney works. Anyways, I'm here to show you some of their PlayStation 2 games, because they have done quite a lot. But I should point out what something. There were not that many PS2 Phoenix games to look out. Because most of them have not been dumped yet, like classics as White Van Waster and Gecko Blaster. Or I'm too lazy. Either way, let's get on with the games. Our first game to look at is this one London Cab Challenge. It's a ripoff of Crazy Taxi, and it's a crap one of that, of course. Let's take a peek. Right then. So here we go, the game's starting up. There you go, Phoenix. Oh my god, that looks terrible. That logo looks terrible. I mean, it looks like something of Sony Vegas failed project. Right, so load failed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Beyond this point, the game will be working with Diamond Con Star 1. Yes. I can enable all save. Yes. I, I like all enabling all saves. And now here we go. The world's longest loading screen. Or one of the world's longest. I mean, seriously. At least the good news is, there aren't that many loading screens in the game. In fact, I think this is the only one we actually have. So that's nice. So, going anywhere nice for the um, for the weekend? Cause I sure am. I like it's like I'm actually going to a feast sometime. Although not really. I'm just doing this just to get, move the video forward. I'm actually, hope for time to pass. And you know what? I one time, this one time, I managed to eat lots of fruit and not die. Would you believe it? I know, I can't believe it either. You know what would you expect for a thing something that's meant that's meant to be healthy as heck? Ah here we go. The world's worst tile screen. Here we go, start game. Start new game. If for some reason the analog sticks don't do anything in the menu. Start new game. Load save it game and options. Let's check the options out. So you can configure the music the sound. And that's pretty much it. So let's start a new game then. Enter my name. Obviously, my name is Jake. People have been wondering what my name meant to be. Jackson. Let's start. And there was no loading screens in these at all. At least welcome to the game. And oh my god, this game looks horrible already. And the drag the draw distance is horrible as well. I mean seriously. Press X to accelerate. Alright. Well, whatever you say, game. Use the left directional buttons on the left analog stick to turn left or right. Right. Whatever you say. Press R button, to, R2 button to check the map. That's the map. Start pauses and also turns off the sound effects so you can rip the music easily. Like you'd want to. Press L1 button to check the ratings. I like the names of the ratings though. 
Okay, this is the first tax. Go to the gross vendor place and take the a passenger. Fair enough. People already sounding like crazy taxi. No, really, this is this is worse than big rigs. Right. Hurry up, the passenger is waiting for you. Well, yeah, that's why come on that's why come I'm doing it. Well, actually, the controls feel like complete nonsense. I mean, literally. These controls suck. There's no doubt about that. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get my passengers, but it seems to be the hardest thing ever. This is, this is very boring. Man, don't these controls suck? No, I can't believe it either. Where is this gross, gross vendor place? We don't know. Oh, there it is. So, we have to go and pick him up. Preferably if we got out from this pole. Could get stuck on a pole. Right then, so, I have to go to York Road. Fair enough. This doesn't sound too difficult. Except... Wonderful. Also, it's less realistic. They, they, they. You can pick up passengers, yet they don't give. They don't. They don't make any passenger models. That's pretty much the most laziest thing ever made. Hurry, shut up. They're my worst enemy. I'm trying to find York Road. But seriously, with the controls like that, who needs to find York Road? Answer nobody. I don't need to go, go straight on. I get stuck on. Get stuck in the bridge. Do you even go straight? Come on. Shut up, passenger. I know. I have to get to York Road, but but how can I get to York Road with this with a stupid car like this? Ah, here you go. I'm here. Mission completed. Right now, I would have collected lots. I completely completed my first class. I didn't good for me. Hippity, hippity freaking ray. Now, 
And I have to upgrade my car. Oh, I have to upgrade my car. What happens if I don't? Right, so, I go to my... I have to go to the um, garage. Oh, that's convenient. Sometimes if you're in an unknown spot, sometimes you won't know where the garage is. Anyway. So. So you can choose which, which one you want. So. Right. I like a new engine. Because my one's too boring. Right, saving. Now, uh, time to pick up my, time to pick up my, and another. If you earn money, all you need is money that you earn by taking your passengers from time to the destinations. Well, that'll be for the um, garage, right. But I've already been to the garage. Garage is not present on the map, therefore you must find them. Or in other words, you, or in other words, we're too lazy to make map graphics for a map. For the map screen, for for the freaking um, those. So we have to. You're ready for your taxi career? Oh, finally! What now? What now? I've one hundred three pounds now. What do I do now? Ah, pick him up. And eventually drive him to it. drive him or her to its destination because you know they didn't make any graphic for the p passengers, so it makes life so confusing. So follow this arrow, follow this arrow like no arrow has ever been followed before. Seriously, how, how does it expect me to fit, to go to um, freaking wherever it take, wants to take it in this amount of time with these bad controls? Seriously, the gra even the graphics suck. I mean, the sky is pale and, there's, and the textures are boring. They really didn't even try. I don't think that was intentional, but they, still they didn't try. I guess I'll like, go around there. Why you would go? Th why would you do this? Is beyond me. But I think, yeah, yeah. This makes no sense whatsoever. For a while, I failed. Seriously, how does he expect me to do this? Notice what's the enjoyment of this car falling off. Wonderful. Okay, that's enough. Seriously. These bad controls. It's no wonder why people didn't like this game. I mean, seriously. Right. Next game. It's Dead Eye Jim. He has a dead eye, he shoots bandits, and he's from the Western. Maybe he's good. But. Who knows? Or cares? Let's check this thing out then. So here you go, our second game. Here's a stiller phoenix than the last one. Even though that last phoenix logo wasn't that still. Right. So presumably if we wait long enough, the game will eventually start. Or is that, at least that should make sense. After all, we wouldn't wait that long. Ah, here we go. Save successful. Okay, so here we go. Another basic menu. Let's start. Let's see what we can change. That's what you can do in the video. That's pretty much everything. Load game. We have no games to load. Let's start this game. Okay, so here's. So, welcome to the game. All you do is shoot. And you have to question why, why, why they thought it was good that to release this on the PS2. I, I will admit the music's pretty decent. At least, at least it's certainly better than than Chance's music, which was not pretty much dull. But seriously, this doesn't feel that this should be released on the PS2. In fact, this should, this feels like it would be released perfectly on them, on them. Ah, and I died. Anyway, as I was saying. 
This game should be perfect if it was released on the, um, this game works better if it was on the um, Xbox Live Arcade title. Okay, once we're just dying. Just shoot all these and not really, and I'm clearly not focusing at my health. So you do have health, you do have lives. Okay. This is this about? Okay, that was boring. Let's load my memory card. Load. Successful. Right, so... Okay, so we're on... So what do you do? You have to try... You have to do, avoid everybody, because apparently they all kill you. Oh, I see. You have to avoid all those bullets. I wasn't. I was clearly not focusing on those bullets. Also, there's another problem with this game. There's no health, so so you can call me a noob for all you. I give a mirror about. So, but a game with no health, no health meter. Well, I just killed all the goons from where I was standing. So that was fantastic. Also, where's the music? The music's missing. Well, that's pretty useful. You can you can shoot faster. Oh, that was that was temporary. I didn't like that. Well, I did like the I did like the Uh-oh. To avoid everybody. At least on the plus side, I see we got a bit better than this game. Only a bit, though. Uh oh, run. Oh, wait. wait. Seems to make the same noises all the time. <gasps> Darn it! I was so close. I assume, well, I assume the bar at the bottom is how much goons are left. Is the health of all the goons? No, seriously, this game feels so short that it doesn't even deserve to be released on the PS2. Fact. In fact, it's so short it shouldn't deserve to be released at all. Avoid all these bullets because they seem to—they seem to give you one hit for every, all the time. Seriously. Wow, this game's so boring. I, well, good God, goodness, God Almighty. Man, this game sucks. And seriously, this, the fact there's no music makes this even scarier. Scarier. I'm scared that there's no music in this. Well, there was music. Oh no! Not like I gave care anyway. Oh well. That. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what I'm not as good as. I'm not as good as Skyred, Martin, Michael, Pierre, Jordan, Top Pilot. Okay. Jim, Thomas, and I am a newbie. Really? There's there's a, really a person called I am a newbie. So I'll just enter my name. Well, is there, I see, it uses a different kind of method from, um, oh well, I, did, I, I didn't even bother, insert, I didn't even bother entering a high score, Larry, I'm not Larry, seriously though, this game is pretty dumb, I mean pretty short, and it doesn't even deserve to be released on the PS2, Considering its length of each level, seriously, feels more like an arcade game. You wouldn't really want to play anyway. Next game.
Have you ever had the dream where you could run in a futuristic zone where something can harm you? I know, neither have I. But we'll see how it's like just shortly. Aha, here we go. Are you ready? Because I sure aren't. Wow. Let's watch this introduction because it looks so extreme. Probably. These are settings in real life. This obviously isn't, but the rest is recorded from real life, except that the poorly CGI thing. Seriously though, the CGI in this is awful. Whoever made the CGI, I wonder how they're still alive. Here we go, the title, Extre Extreme Sprint 3010. Even though this game was released in 2000 and something, six, I'm trying to use it as an autosave at the blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Oddly, this game's loading screens is longer than them. It's shorter than even than the, um, than the one in them. Freaking. Um, London Cap Champ. So, well, new profile. Let's create this new profile then. It uses this weird. For some reason, it uses this weird. Um, thing that I never understood. There we go. We're done. I assume start is yeah. Let's create and enable autosave. Yes, I want I love autosaves. There's two options we can do game and then options. Well this these options are more basic than last time. Game. Standard, tournament, and exploration. Let's do this standard first, guys. Who knows? Single sprint, multiple sprints are. Yeah, I have to unlock all tournaments. West Boy, West Boy Stadium, Grand Arena, Spirit Coliseum. I don't think they spell Coliseum right. Good check. Northern Ice Stadium, Terra Nova Stadium. Was better than Supernova Stadium or Miranova Stadium, but Terranova Stadium was better. Than, but New Age State Coliseum, but all all the Coliseum, all the all the ones are ghost. They're basically goodness. There's lots of them. They're basically all of these are most of these are basically unlocked. So we I can assume we have to beat them. So we can be Gundabad or Bruce Lee in a beanie. And the rest of them are locked. Camera and, and Sidibar. Yeah, play exploration to unlock new cameras. Right, West Boy Stadium. It's better than the North Boy Stadium, the South Boy Stadium, or the East Boy Stadium. But okay. Wow. Well. Three, two, one, go! Well, I didn't get a chance. We're just a roll. Oh yeah, square. Look how slow paced this game is. I understood how then. Look how slowly that let steamroller is going. I mean, it's so easy and so dull. Oh no, steam blow is tossed. Ow. I like how the, look, look how fast he's running. That's his speed of running. Well, I like how their moves are also unnatural. Oh, yes.
Here's how long is this. No, seriously though, this, this is so easy. Look, for most of these parts, you could just go around them. Literally. Second lap. So this is lap. You have to point that out. You have to, why well, you had to point that out three times is beyond me. Ow. I think, uh, maybe this is the emulator's fault, but um, where are the lasers? I think, I'm pretty sure there were meant to be some lasers there. I don't know, maybe that's the emulator's fault. Phoenix aren't that stupid to not to forget to them. Lasers, would they? Unless they are. Seriously, I'm... Um, uh, seriously, though, these, um, these movements they're doing, it's like... Are, they're so, um, so unnatural. Literally. They feel like they're... They feel like there's something out of freaking Gary's mod or something. So these graphics are pretty dull too. I'm not even trying. Look at me. Do you know when these laps happen? Of course not, because there's not even any tape to go through. Yeah. Seriously, this steamroller, I mean, literally, the steamroller is not going any faster than I am. Not that I'm going any faster in the first place, but. Seriously though. Ouch. <sighs> so what was that? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I got I got all tired. I got all sleepy from the fact that this game's so boring. Did these games even get past quality test? But the quality assurance have been fast fast asleep when they were when this game was released. I'm surprised how Sony licensed this game. Oh finally! No more. I like how he's going through everything now. <clears throat> So very boring. So, so I guess we can we can't do much else. That's pretty much the game. Boring. So uh, yeah, I guess we can move on to the next game then. Welcome to the Roller Coaster Fun Fair, and they misspelled fair. Goodness, this isn't going to be much fun, is it? Let's just take a look at it then. Right. So, Phoenix Games. Right. Load failed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It looks about like the one in the Okay. So we're loading. And this got this has got to be the oh, that was quick. Look at the fun fair. Don't tell you names of the places, so this, 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 this and
and the settings. Uh, let's do this. Oh, it was already like that. Right then. So, let's do this. So, we're doing air bolts first. On single player. Okay. Already, this makes me believe that I'm on a real fun fair. Lies. You know, this got to be the worst fun fair ever. As we'll see shortly. Here we go. At least it tell you who I am, so that's good. Well, you know what sucks though? They don't tell you. They don't. You have uh, to choose. I'm not joking. This is running at 50 frames per second, and it's running at like heck. The heck. Whoa, look at this, everybody is cheating. So I might as well follow suit. I mean seriously, look at this. You could you could do this and win. I mean look at this, this is this is cheating at at this at its finest. So you don't need to go on the track, so you could just you could just go along them. You just go through them freaking grass without doing anything. It's freaking stupid, don't you think? Not in a way quite cheating and easy. Did I mean seriously? Did the did the freaking quality insurance um lay asleep or dead when this game was in development? Why was this game even in development? You know, I'm just gonna go straight on until I until I eventually reach the end. You know, I don't think I'm gonna reach the end considering I'm the blue boat. At least I assume I'm the blue boat. Alright. Alright, this makes me th believe I'm in a real fun fair. No, seriously, this is this is terrible. This does not give me any um, real illusion. You just go off the track and hold X until you're at the end. Eventually I made it. And whatever these mean, I haven't got a clue. Okay. It's time to enter my name. Whoa. Damn it. What is it with you stupid directional buttons? That's it. Do you want to play again? No. Right, so we guess we can play the rest of the games. Or at least some of the rest of the games. Like this one. Mini golf. Right. I bet we know how that will play. Saloon. Okay. Well, at least we can see that. I'm not going to play all the games. I'm just going to see some of them. To prove you how crappy they might be. Right. Is this Hogan's Alley? What do you use it? Direct. What do you use it? At least this is faster than the. Well, this is it. That's all you do. Uh oh, how do I roll it? Oh, triangle. Thank goodness. I don't shoot her, because of course. If you do shoot her. Okay. 
this is officially the the world's worst mini game. I mean, this game is like Hogan's Alley, only worse. Even though I can't even remember if it actually originated from the actual carnivals. It must, it well, it must, because considering that this is in a carnival. You know what? I like how these scores keep randomizing. Keep splitting your head from each other. Are you having fun yet, children? I know. I'm not either. Well, again, somebody has to pay their dues. Has to pay their stupid dues for playing Phoenix's games. Bad guys, good guys, bonuses, misses. I didn't get any bonuses. I missed 11. Apparently, I missed 11. I was in again. You wouldn't do. I'm going to play again and exit. Whoa. Look at the latter. Right. Maybe I'll play one more. This is one that probably interests me the most. Let's just bump cars. No, what? Football. Time we play bump cars. That'll be the last one. And then after that, no more of this game will be ever heard from again. Seriously, only five mini games? I mean, come on. That's got to be the worst fun fair I've ever played in my life. Right. At least this runs faster. Hopefully this will run faster. Whoa. Whoa, every, every car is spazzing out. Good, good, good God. How are you meant to get everybody? How are you, how are you meant to get anybody? It expects me to... Okay. Mm. Six. Okay, no, I don't want to play again. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm off this game for life. You know what? Screw this. I'm not going to play this game anymore. You know, I'm going to end this there, okay? In fact, more about Phoenix games. Phoenix games are so desperate for games, they decided to make loads of games, especially for money. Probably. They made games until their demise in 2009. So basically, all I can say about Phoenix Games is they are a sucky company and don't do anything good whatsoever. Okay? So, this is World of Jake 2012 signing out.